Hi, it's Mike. I haven't done a video in a long time. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in uh, the ferrosphere, uh, my invention. Uh, so I think I'm going to go on ahead and sell some of these. Uh, here's, I got a big old magnet here. Give it a minute. There it goes. It's a really nice device. I'm going to go on ahead and auction this one off um, on eBay. Start the bidding at 99 cents for uh, maybe a one week auction. So I'll go on ahead and post this one. The plastic's a little bit scratched up, but it's not too bad a shape. The base is made out of a ABS a pipe cap, just black ABS. I laser cut a hole, mount the LEDs, and uh, put on a adjustable light control, and uh, away you go. I still sell uh, in my eBay store uh, glass. So I'm still selling 52 millimeter optical flats. I mean, they hold a vacuum. These are really nice flats. They make really nice supercells. So just add a couple drops of mouse milk and ferro fluid. Actually, I should just do it, but I'll do another video on that and stick them together and wipe the edges off and away you go. But there's a lot of interest in the ferrosphere. Just tons of email on it. Uh, so so it's going to be in the my eBay store. It's MAP, MAP surplus, which is just all the junk I've collected over the years. I can finally get rid of it because. There's eBay, so if I need it again, I can buy it. So, I'm going to make a... Uh, I've got enough materials to make five right now. Let me zoom back if I can. Yeah, here. So, I'm going to take these uh, 80 millimeter plastic spheres. They're indestructible. Um, epoxy in a flange and then then the cork stopper because penetrating oil believe me it can leak out so I epoxy these in and once you put the cork in it's good and you can you know always dump it out and try a new mix because different mixes react differently to this uh, this just happens to be the mix in it so that's about it. Uh, so look for this uh, showing up on uh, eBay. It's called the uh, Ferrosphere.